we're in India in Surat, and we're in front of the door of the Ozen Diamond, a prestigious diamond cutting center which hosted us, the Gemological Institute of Genoa, Italy, to show us the whole diamond cutting process. Now we'll cross the threshold of this door in order to see how diamonds are cut. The first phase of the cutting process consists of scanning. Scanning is the external scan of the stone and takes place using the machine you can see in the images. The stone is first scanned on the surface to see exactly all the edges. Why is this important? In order to avoid wasting the weight of the rough stone, it's necessary to scan it to understand how many diamonds can be obtained from each rough. The second phase of the scanning process consists of the galaxy. The galaxy is the internal scan of the stone performed to identify the position of the inclusions within the rough. As you can see from these images, during this phase, it's possible to see the internal inclusions of the gem in order to eventually discard the parts that are too included and then go on to use only the best parts. At this point, the real planning begins. The design phase in which the planner decides how to transform the rough into the highest possible economic value. Eventually, we will be able to see how many gems can be obtained from the initial rough diamond, since, normally, from a rough diamond it's possible to obtain two or more polished diamonds. Due to this electronic software, it's possible to understand how best to use the rough material with a maximum precision that only modern software can guarantee. Now, we can see from the images that another tool, the laser, is used to start the process called marking. The marking process consists of marking some lines on the diamond using the laser. The lines will serve as a guide in the first cutting phase which the diamond will be sectioned in order to obtain two or more rough diamonds to be faceted later on. Now we can move to the cutting center, the place where dreams come true. Finally, we managed to get here, where professional cutters remain for a long time sitting side by side on a bench for economical purposes, since if you use the same scape for two, you save both space and scape. At this point, the first real lapidary process begins. This process is called doping. The stone is cemented to a very small stick, the dop. This tool allows us to easily move and rotate the stone. Due to the use of a micro camera and a force line on the display, it's possible to glue the stone in a perfectly straight position. Remember, a large part of the stones that arrive in India to be cut are small in size, so you are usually working with gems that, on average, measure less than an inch in diameter. Once the stone is glued under the dopping, it's inserted into this oven, where the heat solidifies the cement with which it was glued. Now the bruting process starts. Bruting is the rounding process of the diamond, perfectly framed by the micro camera operated by the technician. In this phase, round circles are created on the rough diamond which form a circle within which the diamond must remain, so that it assumes a perfectly round shape without excessive loss of weight. 
If enough center brooding is performed, the diameter of the diamond will decrease, together with the weight of the gem. The rounding of the diamond girdle is very important and is always supervised by an expert cutter. Up until 20 years ago, brooding was always performed by forcing one diamond against another. In fact, traditional brooding was a process often interrupted by the cutter, who frequently had to ensure that the two stones were well centered. Currently, the whole process takes about 30 seconds and provides for minimal weight loss and is used to round even the fancy shapes. Eventually, the stone arrives at the polishers, already placed in the tank, the tool with which you create the facets by pressing it on the scape. This process can last for three or four hours consecutively before bringing out the first precise facet. This machine is nothing more than a camera which allows you to film the stone at 360 degrees after placing it on a pedestal. The filming is performed for various purposes. Firstly, to check that the faceting and polishing have taken place in the best way possible. And secondly, to be better able to sell the stone, since a very high definition video of the diamond strongly attracts the customer's interest, especially since the video can be uploaded to a website and shown to customers who will be able to watch it live. And here is the polished stone on this computer monitor while it's being filmed live. We arrive in the gemological laboratory of the cutting center, which we can observe this professional gemologist intent on certifying the diamond after having carefully analyzed it, in particular after having graded the forces of the diamond, color, clarity, carat and cut. The stone has not yet finished its long journey, which started in the mantle of the earth many millions of years ago, to reach this well-equipped Indian cutting center. For who knows which lucky owner, from this moment, it will be marketed as an investment tool for jury purposes, so we can say that the game is not yet over as we cannot know how many people will still handle it in the future, in which countries it will end up, or how many times it will be resold and bought. But we certainly know that the incredible hardness of the diamond makes this journey endless. The Gemological Institute of Genoa, Italy, would like to thank the Ozon Diamond for allowing us to show everyone how diamonds are cut nowadays at relative low cost in Indian Pacific.